G'day, I'm Malcolm from Woodworking Machinery Services. Today I'm going to show you how to change a scribe blade on a panel saw. And today's model is the Paoloni P3200SX. In the past video I've shown how to change the main saw blade. So, in both cases it's very similar. Uh, the main thing we're looking for is to make sure that when you take the blade off and put it back on, the blade flanges are, are nice and clean. So I'll just show you how that goes. With the scribe blade, you can see it runs in an anti-clockwise direction. So the nut itself is actually a right-hand thread, a normal thread. So the way that comes off is obviously holding the, the shaft in place. Many different panel saws have different ways of holding the shaft. In this case, it's the Allen key through the shaft itself. So it's very important to make sure the Allen key hole is, is nice and clean. There's no dust build up in there. Other saws have uh, sometimes a spanner adjustment, so you actually hold the, the shaft with the spanner. Some even have a pin that goes through the top, so the locking of the shaft is um, different on different models. But the procedure for taking the blades off is pretty much the same. So when you've got your new blade in your hand, they, there's different types of blades available for a scribe. In most cases they are a split scribe as you can see here and they have shims inside so it's important to make sure the shims are clean the inner and outer flanges of the blade are, uh, are clean and of course the flange on the shaft of the scribe plus the flange on the outer bit. so if any of these things have a build up of dirt it can throw out the balance of the blade itself so most important thing is cleanliness and when you put the blade, the nut back on the shaft, do it up with a reasonable amount of force, but doesn't have to be over tightened as it does rotate in the opposite direction to the shaft, so it is self-tightening. So that's it for today's lesson on how to change a scribe blade.